Hey everyone, Chris Stoltz coming at you today from Sesame Place, and we're here for the opening of their brand new Sesame Street store. But before we go inside, let's check out all the cool details outside the building. So over here, we have a postcard. Greetings from Sesame Place, Philadelphia. As you can see, there's the Liberty Bell there. We got Elmo, Cookie Monster, Super Grover, Rosita, Zoe, Big Bird, a carousel horse, Julia, the Count, Oscar, Bert, Ernie, and Abby Cadabby greeting you to the new Sesame Place, Philadelphia store. While on the other side, there's a recreation of Philadelphia's art museum with rubber duckies at the top of the pillars. That's awesome. And of course, really interesting parodies of famous artwork. So we have Bert and Ernie, American Gothic. We got some like Jackson Pollock, Grover. We have a Picasso Count. There's the Mona Lisa Abbey, some Starry Starry Night Cookie Monster. Rosita in the Water Lilies, and a pop culture Roy Lichtenstein Elmo saying hello. And at the very, very top, you can see Zoe, Oscar, Cookie Monster, Elmo, Big Bird, Snuffy, Grover, Bert, Ernie, Rosita, and Abby welcoming you just like the Greek gods intended. After the art museum, there's a whole Philadelphia style neighborhood over here. So we have one house that has a few books in the window. We can read these Goodnight Grouch, Ladybug Picnic, Cookbook for Insects, Birdseed Milkshakes for the Soul, and The Little Monster That Could. Upstairs, we have some ballerina shoes, a soccer ball, some letter building blocks, and a little toy plane. In the window of the next house is Stinky the Stinkweed, a character we haven't seen on the show in quite a while, but it's really cool to see them add him into the park here. We have upstairs, there's a little rainbow and a drawing of Elmo, a teddy bear, and way up in the attic, we can see the ladder to the attic, a sewing machine, a globe, and a little toy car. Next, we have the music shop, of course, Music lessons are in progress. We have the Sesame Street characters doing an Abbey Road parody. We have Big Bird 1969. Of course, a parody of Taylor Swift's album 1989. Upstairs, we have a monster playing the drums. We have uh, another couple characters playing saxophones and trumpets and triangles. Here's another character, possibly Ernie, playing the harp. We have a whole bunch of other musical instruments here, including one donated by Hoots. And a cookified flute that's, of course, reserved for Cookie Monster. Here's a guitar for Ji Young's Big Show and a triangle where Telly has left a note that is reserved only, of course, only for triangle lovers. And here's a banjo here. It doesn't say it's Kermit's banjo. There's no K on the bottom of it like Kermit's banjo does, but we could just assume that that banjo is there for Kermit. Here we have the veterinary and pet grooming services. We groom dogs, cats, rabbits, bears, giraffes, fish, elephants, of course, we see a dog and a cat in the window here. Upstairs, we see a goldfish and a parrot and an iguana and an elephant. You can see the elephant's trunk there, a little hamster gerbil. We have a dog taking a shower. And um, of course, the bell is broken, but no, so please bark. And different entrances, there's a cat and dog entrance, an entrance for birds, and even a small entrance at the bottom here for turtles. There's also a sign stating how much that they love fur, scales, feathers, shells, fins, tails, flippers, paws, trunks, spots, whiskers. And of course, this is a place where you can adopt your forever friend. Next is the Magic Wonder Shop. Of course, owned and operated by the Amazing Mumford. Here we go, a la peanut butter sandwiches. We have the Amazing Mumford's gloves and a magic wand. We have all his magic books, how to disappear, how to reappear, trap doors, how to make an exit, misdirection, look over there, and ABC Abracadabra. In the windows upstairs, we see some juggling balls, a magic hat. There's a rabbit in a hat stained glass window. And uh, something's happening up at the top here in the, the upper floors. Uh, I think some magic is going on because there's some lightning and poops of smoke and all kinds of stuff going on. So, all right, something's happening up there. The amazing muffer here has left a note, poof. He's uh, disappeared, but he wants you to make sure that you have a magical day. This whole section is brand new. It is a whole new addition to the front of the park. The front of the park is right past this security section. You can see it right back in the back there. 
This whole thing is brand new and all just a fake facade in front of the giant store behind it. And you can now access the store without having to have a ticket for the park, which is just incredible. So let's go inside and check it out. And of course, leading you into the store are Big Bird's footprints. So we'll follow the footprints into the giant new largest Sesame Street store in the world. The first section you come to when you get into the store is this baby section. We have some bibs, some binky clips, some bottles. We have some fleece throw blankets, some character pillows, and some Sesame Street books. Down here we have some baby hats and shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. Burp cloths, I don't even know what that is, but if I wanted to burp, I would now have a cloth for it. There's also all kinds of Sesame Street kids wear, shirts and pants and pajamas and all kinds of great Sesame apparel for kids. Here we have some Sesame Street pajama pants, Elmo loves you, Cookie Monster, a whole other thing with Cookie Monster, some Sesame Street socks that come with it, and a whole Cookie Monster onesie. Look at this, his googly eyes coming at you. Nom, 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 and some half-eaten cookies all over it. Over here, we have a whole bunch of character feet. We got Elmo, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and even Telly's footwear that you can make your own. Here we have a whole section of Sesame Street, more like adult shirts. We have a classic one, two, three Sesame Street logo shirt raised on the street in graffiti. The gang's all here, a Japanese-inspired Cookie Monster shirt. No crumbs left behind. The original Wingman, I think that's kind of like a parody to Top Gun. That's Big Bird, you know, smoking some really cool shades. Me? Sarcastic? Never. I mean, you know, Bert's very sincere. He's a very sincere person. Uh, forever Young featuring Elmo. Sexy, sexy and I know it featuring uh, Ernie on his sex phone. Sexy and I know it. All right. Pretty cool. And those are just the shirts on display. There are also a whole bunch more shirts for sale as well. Here we have some of the newer Sesame Street sign collection. We have some signs here. There's some fleece. There's some clothing. This is Cookie Monster. There's little pink pajamas. You get the Sesame Street on a tote bag. You got the Sesame Street little logo on the side of the shirt. All kinds of cool Sesame Street logo stuff featuring the Sesame Street logo with this rainbow background. This section has a whole bunch of Camp Sesame and Explore the Outdoor stuff. So here we have Abby as like a tree nymph, Cookie Monster, Elmo and Abby having a s'more sandwich on this hat. Camp Sesame established 1969, kind of like a old Boy Scouts kind of hat with like patches on it. That's really neat. Explore the Great Outdoors shirts, Elmo and Cookie Monster camping lanterns and some camping water bottles. Some plush at the top featuring Abby, Cookie Monster, and Elmo. Here we have some shirts featuring the new Greetings from Sesame Place Philadelphia postcard that's on the wall outside. Here's the Halloween section. So we have all the characters as pumpkins. We have Ernie, Elmo, Bert, the cow, Abby. And I really like how Abby's pigtails are the leaves. That's really cool. We have a pirate plush of Cookie Monster, of course, P is for pirate and T is for treasure. Make sure you knew that. Oh, and the Yip Yip Boo t-shirt here featuring the Yip Yip Martians and some bats. There's even a whole bunch of lanterns featuring the characters as pumpkins and some trick-or-treating bags featuring Elmo dressed as a pumpkin. At the back of the store, we have a honker and dinger. And that'll take us to the other side of the store where we have some really interesting shirts. Here's Elmo in like a black and white shirt. We have like some graffiti and splattered paint Sesame Street shirts. We have some more plush of Cookie Monster and Elmo and Big Bird. There's a really cool Sesame Street denim jacket over here. A lot of like black and white stuff over here. It's really interesting. Cookie Monster, some more splatter. Here we have Sesame Street. Just like, you know, very 90s style with like, you know, the characters going down the arms. We have this kind of funky one where they're in color, but it's also just black. The one kind of, you know, stylized and the color is just kind of off like a comic book. Very, very neat to see. Like this one with Abby coming, you know, up from the black. Nicely, nicely done in this whole kind of 90s vibe going on over here. Which leads us into the Sesame Street plush. We have, of course, plush of Oscar, the two-headed monster, slimy, big plush of Cookie Monster, Big Bird, and Abby. And, uh, and what I came here today 
to see if they still had was, yes, the classic character plush of Alice. This is Snuffy's, of course, younger sister. She is this year's classic character. I have not picked her up yet. So I'm glad they still have these in stock. I have to go pick up an Alice for sure. Of course, there's plush of the Count, Gonger, Super Grover, Julia, Bert, Ernie, Zoe. This is just incredible to see so much plush here for Sesame Street. Gotta love it. Here's Zoe in a tutu. Here are some holiday themed plush. We have Abby in some winter attire. We have a Frankenstein Elmo. We even have last year's classic character, Guy Smiley, still here. Here's Abby as a pumpkin, a hunker, Cookie Monster as a pirate, Cookie Monster as Santa with a cookie, and more. This section of plush features Stuffleupagus, Telly, Rover, Cookie Monster, Rosita, a honker, Rudy, and Elmo. And what would the world's largest Sesame Street store be without the world's largest Elmo plush? Yes, this was Just Play's world's largest Elmo plush they made for Toy Fair, and they brought it here to display for a limited time in the store. It is massive. You can see there's the rest of the plush, you know, and, and items here. Like, this is just incredible. There's, there's the rest of the plush. There's a regular Elmo plush. And there's the giant Elmo plush. The head alone is bigger than all the other plush combined. Here we have the Sesame Street fill a bus characters. Basically you buy this bus and you fill it with all kinds of PVC characters we have down here and you get them at a discount. So we have Oscar, Bert, the Count, Ernie, Gonger, Cookie Monster, and then new this year we have Tango and the Yip Yip Martians. Just yes, we have the blue and pink Yip Yip Martians. There's the two-headed monster, Rover, Snuffy, Big Bird, and Rosita. All right, I might have to pick up some new figures. Now this is something I've looked for for a long time. Just plain Sesame Street logo merchandise. So here we see the logo on a sweatshirt, a hat, and you can even buy the Sesame Street sign. Here we have the characters with Cookie Monster, of course, eating the M a shirt for Big Bird's tour bus. Here is a cookie that turns into Cookie Monster. I mean, he'd be very happy with that. And if you're not already a cookie yourself, you could bake a cookie with this baking Cookie Monster plush. Speaking of cooking supplies, there's a whole cooking supply section here. We have Cookie Monster oven mitts, whisks, kitchen dish towels, bowls, and Cookie Monster cups. Here we have a whole section of Sesame Place pins, which of course are all exclusive to the park. It's not as large a selection as in Hooper's Emporium, but still some really cool pins here. You know, My First Coaster, the Party Parade, some mystery pins. They have these really neat ones of the characters putting their hands in cement. So we have Cookie Monster, Elmo, Abby, Oscar, and Big Bird. Those are really neat. There's some Etch-a-Sketch ones. So someone had drawn a picture of Oscar in an Etch-a-Sketch. Here's a postcard from Oscar going to Hawaii. There's some regular character pins here of Cookie Monster and Julie. Here are some calendar pins featuring Big Bird, Elmo, and Ernie. Check out this Tweedlebug pin featuring a Tweedlebug on a balloon. Here is a pin of Tamir. We have the characters tubing around the park. We have Ernie in a tube and Big Bird in the tube. We also have Bert in the tube, Elmo wearing sunglasses and getting ready for the beach, the limited edition classic character pin of Sherlock Hemlock, and we also have G Yang and Gabby pins too. In this section of pins, we have holiday pins. We have a postcard of Big Bird having fun in the sun, Ernie playing baseball. We have some more of the calendar pins, Abby, Slimy, Little Bird, Sherlock Hemlock, Snuffy, Oscar, Cookie Monster, Baby Bear. That is awesome. You don't see a whole lot of those characters, especially Baby Bear and Little Bird are characters you don't see often. So it's nice to see them represented. Here we see pins for season pass members. So here's season pass member 2023 featuring Bert and Ernie. Pins featuring the characters in Santa hats like Abby, Big Bird, Elmo, Cookie Monster and Oscar. Over here we have specific sections based on each character. So we have a whole bunch of Oscar stuff. We have Oscar hats and water bottles. We have of course his best friend Slimy here. We have a purse with Oscar's head with Slimy coming out of it. You can be Oscar with this Oscar headband. We have Oscar notebooks, Oscar t-shirts, just a whole section of our favorite grouch. Next is a whole section featuring Cookie Monster. We have Cookie Monster t-shirts, Cookie Monster hats, Cookie Monster 
bucket hats, Cookie Monster plush, Cookie Monster water bottles, and more featuring our favorite cookie eater. Here we have a whole section of Advent Cadabby merchandise, some Advent plush up there, water bottles, shirts, bucket hats, purses, notebooks, headbands, anything you could possibly want with our favorite fairy on them. And of course, there's a whole Elmo section. There's Elmo plush, Elmo water bottles, Elmo t-shirts, Elmo bucket hats, Elmo regular hats, more Elmo shirts, and of course, Elmo's good friend and pet, Tango. We have a small section here featuring Rosita. So we have some Rosita action figures and a shirt with Rosita's face on it. We also have a small section for Grover with Grover's face on it. Super Grover plush and action figures of Super Grover. Here we have a section featuring some of the new Sesame Street characters like Gabrielle, Tamir, and Jiang. Here are some lunch boxes. We have Elmo, of course, in love. Me want cookie. We have some backpacks featuring Abigadabby, who is extra sweet. And, you know, a Me One Cookie backpack as well to match your lunchbox. Okay, so if you're uh, going to school, you could be sporting these cool Sesame Street lunchbox and backpack combinations. They even have small wallets and purses featuring the same designs. Here we have some Sesame Drinkware. We have Elmo saying, oh yeah, instead of Elmo loved you for some reason. Abby saying, that's so magical. We have some character face water bottles. We have some really interesting like ball water glasses. I'm not sure, these are very bizarre. They have these straws cut out of them. They almost look like Christmas balls, but they're drinking vessels. Very strange, of course, Abby. Cookie Monster, Elmo, and Big Bird are all featured. They have some really interesting mugs here, featuring like a real illustrative cartoony design on them. So we have Elmo running down one, two, three, Sesame Street. We got Bert and Ernie, we got Slimy, Oscar, Big Bird, Snuffleupagus, and Abby. That is really cool. Of course, it even features Bartley. We don't see a whole lot of merchandise. So wow, that is neat. They're like stick figures and like just in a kind of cool like kid sort of style. Very nicely done. They also have it on a whole set you can get here with a mug. Here we have a whole Sesame Street hat collection. So we have Oscar, Cookie Monster, Abby, and Elmo. Sport themed hats, some camping hats, other kind of bucket hats featuring all the characters' faces, and anything hat related. Here we have the Sesame Place holiday collection. We have a whole set of balls here, a snow globe, some mugs featuring the characters as nutcrackers, a frame featuring the characters as nutcrackers, plush ornaments of the characters as gingerbread cookies. Here we have some Sesame Street school supplies. So we have a pencil case, and of course, pencils to put in them. We have some notebooks. There's a snow globe. I'm not sure how that's school related. Here's some notebooks, both plush and not plush. These ones like have the characters' faces that flip up. That Tango is on the Elmo one, and Little Bird is with Big Bird. Oscar has some trash. Cookie Monster, of course, has some cookies, and Abby has her wand. And you can also get a set of five notebooks as well. Wow, this is cool. I've never seen these before. It's a whole set of pennants, count on me, a whole alphabet, old school kind of Sesame Street with Little Bird. I got a lot of, a lot of Little Bird today, that's neat. Read, and then on the other side here, there's a whole bunch of patches. There's a slimy patch, there's a pennant of Oscar, patches of Bert, Ernie, pennant of Oscar going over Niagara Falls, Bert and Ernie cooking saying, best buds forever. Patches featuring Big Bird's face, Sesame Place, oh, I like this one. Sesame Place since 1980. That is really cool. I've never seen this before. I might have to get some of these. We got Elmo and Cookie Monster. Elmo and Oscar saying, be kind. And a really, ooh, this is really neat. Super Grover, I'm super. Here we have a whole bunch of stick-on patches. And silicone reusable bags. There's also a whole selection of lounge fly wallets and bags. In further registers, they have a selection of keychains and magnets. Behind the counter, they have reusable bags featuring the Sesame Street characters. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for a look at the new Sesame Place Sesame Street store, the largest Sesame Street store in the world. And it is just made us. It opened today, so we're gonna get in line. The line is kinda long, so we'll see how long it takes us to get out of here. But I have a basket full of stuff and we'll see what I what I take actually out of here, um, depending on how much it is, because 
almost nothing in here is priced. It's kind of odd. So we'll see how much uh, I actually wind up getting. There is a deal. If you spend hundred dollars, you get twenty bucks. You get hundred dollars worth of stuff for eighty bucks. So we'll see how much I actually wind up taking home. But this place is awesome. I highly recommend you come check it out. One problem with this store is it's literally also functioning as the park exit. So you now have to exit the park through the gift shop, so that creates a lot of traffic through. I mean, hopefully, I mean, that's obviously to increase sales. I totally get it, but wow, it's a lot of traffic in here. All right, so that's gonna do it for the new Sesame Place store, the world's largest Sesame Street store. Thanks everybody for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this video was. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels and I'll see you next time. Be sure to watch part two as we go inside the park and check out the Count's Halloween Spooktacular and see all the recent additions to the park. Wow, it's a lot of traffic in here.